Hi folks, I'm Ed. And I'm G. And we are Ed and G Travels. We want to take this time to thank you if you have subscribed to our channel. Right now we're, we're very small in the YouTube world with just a little over 100 subscribers on YouTube. But we look forward to meeting many of you and that's why we're making this video today. We want to do it as kind of um, an introduction to our channel. Uh, G and I have been married 33 years. We've been married 32 years. We've been married 32 <laughs> years going on our 33rd year. So that's, that, that's exactly right. We will be married 33 years as of October 18th, 2023. So, all right, G, we're going to switch uh, gears here for just a second. We're going to talk about our most recent cruise that we had. It was on the Carnival Celebration, mm -hmm. which is currently the largest ship in Carnival's fleet until the Jubilee comes out. So we left that on the celebration May 20th. It was an eight day itinerary to Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. And on that particular sailing, it was the first time that Carnival Celebration had ever been to Aruba. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to see the uh, the ship in the water rear, spout. the water spout, uh, is, a, is sort of a ceremonial thing when a ship goes into a port for the first time. And so we were able to witness that. And we weren't really sure before that time that that was going to take place. We didn't know that it was the celebration's first time. But so looking at that itinerary, go back to um, Aruba. Okay. And what was your favorite favorite things about that port? Probably the, my favorite thing was uh, that they were we were there till like what 11 p.m. Yes. So we had lots of extra time to to do things and because we went to the beach and then we were able to spend there a few hours at the beach, came back, got back on the ship, had some food, rested a little bit, and then we were able to get back off and and walk around some. That was the first eight day itinerary that we had ever been on. And that extra day, that extra day for me personally just added, it was just... It really made it yeah. worth it. It really was, the extra day made it seem like it was maybe three days longer. <laughs> it's, it was weird, but we were so used to having to be back on board to leave by 4 p.m. at all of the other ports that we'd ever been to. And so for us to be able to actually see it get dark in a port was... And that was beautiful, yeah. seeing the, the cities all the city lights and then when you're off the ship seeing the ship lit up like that was just it was it was really pretty so the next time that we go to those ports and we will return we want to make it a point to go back off the ship and get some nice photos mm -hmm. and some more uh yeah because we forgot content yes we didn't get a picture not one picture of the ship at and when it was dark and uh what made us think about it and reminded us is we saw other other vloggers uh taking those awesome photos and, and content. And we were like, oh wow, we didn't even think to get off and uh, go back out there and get the ship uh, when it was all lit up and everything. We were on our first cruise back in 2005. Was the very week that Natalie Holloway went missing. There was a tiny bit of um, sense of sadness. I mean, I guess if you don't know that whole story, you wouldn't understand that feeling, but uh, cause the beach that we went to was actually pretty close to where she had been staying when she uh, when she disappeared, but yeah. And by the way, um, we did put a video out that covered um, all of our, the islands, the ABC islands that we went to, you can see that. Um, it's just a, probably a couple of videos back before this. Uh, but um, Eagle, Eagle Beach, I think it's what it was called, is where we were. We loved it. We loved everything about Aruba. And we do have plans for the next time that we go. We plan on getting a full day pass yeah. on the bus. And we met one. Uh, Which is what? Um, it, I, five I think five it's, dollars a person? I think or it's, is that 10? I think it's going to be like $10 a person. Uh, current prices. A, by, the time, pass, yeah. by the time we get back there, it probably will be higher. But uh, we do plan on getting a day pass and, and visiting more of the beaches because... Uh, we did meet one lady who did a she what she called beach hopping, and she visited several beaches that day, and uh, she was. She did a little bit of everything, and she was she by was, she was trailing by herself, 
And she did a little bit of everything. She did snorkeling at one beach, jet skiing at another beach. Yep. And, you know, just, and she did every beach. She swam with she turtles. And then we went to Bonaire the next day. And then we, we chose to do an excursion outside of Carnival. And what we did is when we got off the ship, we went outside the, tur uh, the secured area. And then to the left, there was a bunch of tents mm -hmm. set up. And then the very first one, uh, he was, he was advertising a three and a half hour island tour. And I think it was like $35 a person. Mm -hmm. And so we chose to do that. And we were in a small van with 13 other people, I think. And, um, crowded and hot. it was crowded and hot. The air conditioner didn't work the greatest, <laughs> but we were in Bonaire right. and we were having a tour. And in fact, this is where a personal, uh, kind of testimony story comes in to play. Uh, we were seated and this is how God works. We were seated next to a young lady who had been diagnosed with a brain tumor and we didn't know that. Well, I've had brain tumor surgery on two different occasions. And uh, so we got into the discussion that day about my surgeries. And she didn't tell me right away that she had been diagnosed with a brain tumor. Only about a couple of weeks ago, they gave us a call and shared the news with us. And they were having, she was having surgery. Uh, in fact, she just had surgery about a week ago uh, when we're making this video. And so that's how God works. And we were able to pray with her and share some encouragement with her. Mm -hmm. And so I'm thankful for that cruise, uh, for that excursion that we went on that day, because it put us in contact with this young lady. And so we've been praying for her. We still are. And hopefully we'll see them on another cruise sometime. And hopefully we'll get to book another cruise for them uh, in the future. And so that... That excursion uh, took us around all of the major uh, points on Bonaire. We got to see the salt um, flats, I think is what they call it. And we even were able to pick up some of the sea salt. Oh, I should have brought the glass over here. Here's our little jar. Yeah, so. so we just got a whole bunch of <laughs> chunks and uh, some little bitty pieces. And because we eat sea salt all the time. So, and yeah, you can. Suck on these little things. Yeah, or... just pull me one out, and I'm not going to put this back in. <laughs> I'm not going to put this back in there, but this is... Now, this is straight off of the salt flats yeah. in Bonaire. We didn't wash it, scrub it, or anything. <laughs> it's fabulous. <laughs> but that was fun. You can mm. just... Uh, so take you a bag. Take your little Ziploc bag with mm. you, and uh, during Excellent. that tour, they will, they will stop at the salt mine, and they already have a, a crate... Full, and you can just go grab you a handful and I mean literally we saw a guy we thought he had a bag of ice because that's <laughs> see as you can tell it looks like ice and we thought, we thought he had a bag like a, a bag of ice and that's how much he had but. yeah we saw that we saw the um, flamingos. the flamingos we saw the the 1,000 steps um, every one of the notable places on Bonaire, Bonaire we were able to mm -hmm. see with that excursion yeah. for $35, three and a half hours. And in addition to that, that particular one also had one um, one stop in it to where every person could get a drink. They stopped at a little a little store. It was a little store and the driver purchased a drink for a uh, soft drink for every person on the excursion. And there was also of course opportunity, it was a 30 minute stop, I think yeah. it was a 30 minute break included in there and you could go to the bathroom and you could buy anything you wanted to buy at that store as well. But, uh, that drink was included. So we'll definitely, you know, we might want to do that one again, but we also know that, um, uh, there is another place in Bonaire and I forgot what it's called. Bonaire uh, cruisers, Bonaire cruisers. Bonaire cruisers. Yeah. Uh, you can rent a golf cart yeah. for the entire for the entire time that you're in there. Well, when I say the entire day, I mean uh, the day ends about four o'clock for the cruising, for the Bonaire Cruisers mm -hmm. excursion. So so when I say the entire day, that doesn't mean for the entire time the cruise ship is in port. Uh, because I did ask the lady who was working in that tent, and I said, what time does your day end? She said about four o'clock. So just as long as you have the golf cart back by four o'clock, 
And I think the cost is around a hundred dollars. Is it per person or for no, the golf cart? No, it's just the golf cart. So the golf cart. I think you have to put down a deposit also, mm -hmm. but you get that back after you return the cart. But I'm not sure. I will drop. Uh, I will drop the link in the description of this video for Bonaire Cruisers. And that has so as you're driving because this is what we noticed. There's like there would be like arrows. It it would you you would have no problem finding your way around driving the golf cart because there's plenty of other people. I mean, they sold out. The, I don't know how many carts they had, but they sold out of them. So that's why we we didn't purchase one of those. But there's little signs that tells you you know which direction to go. And I think there was even some places that had little arrows. Yes, the arrows on the ground. They also give you yeah. a map. Yeah. Um, so because we did ask, and they were sold out. But when we showed up at her tent, we asked her, do you have any available? She said, yes, we actually have some available because there was a lot of cancellations. Yeah. Uh, like most recently, like on that day before or that day, mm -hmm. people couldn't go on the cruise. So there was, and I'm not sure how many cancellations there were, but they did have some available that day, but I wouldn't count I on that. I want to say that they had like three. Three or four. Three or four carts, but that was it. But if you decide to go on one of those uh, with a golf cart, they will give you a map. And I don't think you'll have any danger of getting lost. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's a small island, yeah. and um, all you have and to do is ask directions. I, 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 it seemed very it, safe, don't you think? Seemed so? very safe in in uh, Bonaire, yes. So, um, so that's Bonaire, and then we got back on again. We didn't have to leave that port until late, mm -hmm. so it, we did. We were able to see it get dark there. Uh, before we had to shove off. Now keep in mind also Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao, they're all very close together, the islands. And so when you get off, when you leave Bonaire, all the cruise ship is really going to do is just shove off, go out yeah. into the water and kind of float around and until the next morning. And then it's going to pull into Curacao at the, at the appointed time or whatever the whatever the itinerary calls, whatever order you visit the islands in. So those three are very close. But then we arrived into Curacao the next morning and Curacao is where we just decided to not do an excursion, but instead we kind of just walked on our own. Mm -hmm. And that too was very rewarding as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. We were able to see the all of the, the major, well, I, not all, but most of the major things that you probably have seen on uh, the videos. We saw the locks of love trees where... Uh, we forgot our lock. Yeah, we forgot our lock. And, Next time. We saw the, the floating, I don't know how to say this, the, the bridge that is movable. Like, it is a bridge going from one side to the other over the water channel, but then... I looked over once and the bridge wasn't there. I didn't know it was a movable bridge because there was this ship coming through the channel. It's I says, like, where's... Like on pontoons or something. Yeah, like the bridge is floating on pontoons yeah. and it has an engine at the end of it. And when it needs to open for a big ship, then the, the engine just starts up and they drive it, pull it back and the bridge opens. But of course they don't let, they don't allow any people to be on the bridge when it's in motion. So, and if uh, folks, still need to cross over, then there is a ferry for that yeah. purpose. If the bridge is um, is opened, then there's a ferry that you will use to get from one side to the other because we got off the ship so early that morning that we were on the ferry with <laughs> with the locals who were going, going to work. work. Yeah. And uh, so we were we were off one of we were probably one of the first fifty people off the boat that morning. But that was fun times. We visited a lot of shops. Uh, and also, uh, well, when you, as soon as you get across, uh, I forgot what that thing's called, where you, you can get your passport stamped. Yes. Um, I don't know what that building At is the, called. At um, the Customs. I think it's called uh, the Customs. Okay. The, the Customs. But that's, that's really close, right? After you cross, yes. uh, get over, go down to your left. left yep. And it's like the corner. I want to say it was a yellow building, but I don't know. Very... And there was like Very a, nice folks a market down there that had like all kinds of like fruit and vegetables and, and things like that. And I don't know what that other market was. Of course, there's all kinds of, you know, souvenirs and stuff like that if you if you want to buy things. Probably a highlight. And of course, Kira's house was great. We really enjoyed it. Uh, but the highlight to me of, of our cruise was, so we like to duck hunt. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I didn't know anything about duck hunting until she shared it with me like a handful of cruises ago. And I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm duck hunting. I said, what do you mean duck hunting? Well, how do you duck hunt? And so she told me, and now it's actually fun, okay? Yeah. And so this last cruise, we were duck hunting. I We both found five right. each, okay? We also hid some uh, for others to find as well. So and if you found one of our ducks, let us know. Yes, if you found a, we've never if you found a duck with Ed and G travels on it, please, yeah. please, please uh, throw the hashtag at us or at us yeah. on social media and let us know because we really want to know. And uh, so we were hiding ducks. We were looking for ducks. And we went into the <clears throat> the comedy lounge looking for ducks. And there was a carnival employee in there taking a break. And so uh, we said, oh, we're sorry to bother you. We we're just looking for ducks. And that sparked a conversation about ducks. And we got to talking to her about duck hunting and then we also complimented some of the staff and the crew really <clears throat> do like finding ducks and that's it, what we it, asked it makes yes. their day yeah uh, some of them will send them home to their kids and <laughs> but they they really do enjoy finding the ducks so i thought that was neat we wanted to know that we asked for that yeah. and that's what she shared with us she ended up her position in the ship was the senior assistant director for housekeeping and so she was the next in line to be the chief housekeeping officer on the ship. So we just talked to her for several minutes about how we love Carnival and how hardworking her staff uh, is, both the housekeeping as well as every area of the boat. And we talked to her about duck hunting and everything. And then, so we said, well, we don't wanna keep you. Uh, we don't want to take any more of your time. We're gonna go ahead and, and, and leave and uh, let you take advantage of the rest of your break. and. She said, what is your cabin number? And I just rattled it off because that's what I do. And I said, I told her the cabin number. Later that afternoon, we went back to our cabin. And you'll see this in that video if you watch our video, part one of that video. She had pillowcases embroidered with our names. And she had them sent to our cabin and placed on our mm -hmm. bed but that's not the first thing we noticed. The very first thing we noticed when we went into our room is a towel animal. Like if you've been on a carnival cruise, you'll, you know what a towel animal is. But on this towel animal, she had two of the smallest ducks as eyes. She had them sitting on top of the towel animal as eyes. And they were really, really minuscule ducks. And we thought, oh, how cute. That's when I looked to the left and noticed that she had embroidered pillowcases on says, the bed. Uh, good night, <clears throat> good night, Eddie. Good night, Glenna. So, mm. yeah. And embroidery, not uh, screen printed, but embroidered. So that was a big uh, statement right there. And then she also had a message uh, written on the mirror, which is a very large yeah. circle yeah. mirror. She had a message on there that said, Eddie and Glenna, thank you so much for choosing Carnival. And so, Perhaps the reason this meant so much to us is because I think I already shared that Carnival Cruise Line is the only cruise line that we represent. Uh, we are um, uh, retired from the Army, still work, and I don't want to represent, uh, I don't want to get so busy that I can't keep up, and I'm sure you understand that. So, uh, but we chose to do Carnival because we've, we've cruised with Carnival only, and we really love Carnival. Mm -hmm. And we shared that with her. And now the other thing is, is so many people, there are a lot of people, and maybe some of you who are watching this might feel like Carnival is per, perhaps not um, the most fanciest cruise line. Now, that's fine if you feel that way, but we will say that for those of you who think that Carnival is the, quote, Walmart of the seas, I promise you that's not the case. No. I will also tell you that there are silliness, shenanigans, whatever you want to call it, that take place on all cruise ships. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you probably hear more about it on Carnival. I can't help that. But Carnival is a wonderful cruise line. And I'm, we're not getting paid for this. We're not getting paid for this. We just feel that way. But that's what made it so special. Mm -hmm. But we enjoyed that. 
But again, uh, and then after Curacao, we had a two day uh, trip back, uh, two sea days back to Miami. And it was probably one of the most relaxing cruises mm. that we've ever been on. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we actually took more naps because usually <laughs> you feel you feel kind of rushed, like like you're not going to get everything in. And this time we just kind of we relaxed, we napped, we we you know we had our room service coffee, all kinds of stuff like that, and it was just it was really enjoyable. And then of course sometimes we're traveling with other people, so you kind of you feel like you need to keep up with, with them, which that's okay. But sometimes, you know, I just want to be with this guy. Yeah, you know, and just and just enjoy. Just enjoy life because like he said, you know, uh, sometimes when you're not sure if you're going to take another breath, you kind of, without me starting to cry because y'all you will <laughs> eventually figure out that I'm a crybaby if, if he keeps me on here long enough. But, but no, um, you know, God's good and um, I'm just happy to be traveling. And this is just something that we both want to share with other people because it's just a fabulous way to travel. It's a fabulous way to see some amazing places. Yeah, it might not be for very long at a time, but... Um, I definitely recommend going to the ABC Islands because so far it has hands down been one of our best cruises and uh, I definitely want to go back. It, Absolutely. It, it was great. Absolutely. Oh, wow. It's and just, the ship. Uh, yeah. Oh, the ship. Let's talk about the ship. Good point. Good <laughs> point. Um, so there's a lot of people who don't like big ships. There's a lot of people who don't like little ships, but I'll tell you, um, and if you, if you compare Carnival's largest ship with, mm -hmm. say, Royal Caribbean's largest ship, well, it, from what I know, I think Royal Caribbean's largest ship is probably about almost twice the size or maybe about 50% maybe about larger than Carnival Celebration and Carnival Jubilee but, okay. and Mardi Gras. But I will tell you that... Um, uh, we love every ship that we've been on. We really do. Uh, probably my favorite class of ship is probably the Conquest class, which includes the Carnival Conquest, the Valor, the Liberty, the Freedom, and the Glory. Okay, and so we've been on all of those ships except the Conquest and the Valor. Now, we are scheduled for the Valor in December of 2024, so that'll leave the Conquest as the only one, but... Uh, the freedom, the liberty, the glory we've been on, and we love those ships. It just seems like everything is laid out perfectly. But I will say, we went on the Mardi Gras in September of 2022 and the celebration in May of 2023. We love those ships as well. And I'm going to go ahead and say that um, I wouldn't turn down a cruise on the XL class ship ever. <laughs> Uh, we've been on the Dream, the Carnival Dream, three times, and love we we love that ship too. So, wow, you know, our, our very first cruise, by the way, was on the original Celebration in 2005 out of Jacksonville, and uh, wow, it seemed so huge. It seemed so huge, and it was just a special uh, moment for us to be able to go on the brand new Celebration. But we're definitely, and we're booked on the Jubilee. Mm -hmm for January 6th of 2024. And uh, you might be wondering what our what our status is as far as our VIFP status. We are currently gold. Um, gold, <laughs> there you go. And But when we go on the Carnival Jubilee, we will be turning uh, platinum for that cruise. So, um, we're, very, we're looking forward to it, but the, the celebration, uh, it, the XL class ship is, um, again, largest in Carnival's fleet thus far. So much space. Uh, and I will tell you, my favorite floor is the eighth floor. It's, it's the eighth floor, and then I'm going to let G talk about whatever her favorite one is. But the eighth floor uh, aft has guys pig and anchor. Uh, guys pig and anchor, the barbecue place. And then it has the Heroes Lounge has the big screen TVs in there for your sporting events. 
Uh, and then it has the aft pool, which we really haven't been in yet on, on either of the ships, hot I don't tub. think. The hot tubs. The hot tubs and the pool. aft pool. But, um, and then also the eighth floor around, if, if you're, so I don't want to get this wrong because I was in the Army, not the Navy. <laughs> but I think it's port side. And I know you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but on the right side of the ship as you're moving forward, that is where... Uh, toward the back part of the ship is where the cornhole tournaments take place. Uh, at least they that's where they've taken place on the celebration in Mardi Gras. And I do love to play cornhole when we go on cruises. But the eighth deck is my favorite place. Um, and this celebration on the celebration cruise, it seems like is the least amount of time that we spent on the Lido deck of mm -hmm. any right. cruise right. that we've ever been on. Right. And it may be because we are just uh, I, I don't know how to describe this, but we're kind of settling in to our cruise experience. Uh, we love cruising, but we are um, we 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 now know what to expect, and so we don't feel I've got to go on the Lido deck to see what's going well, on. And we know we know what we like. Yes. Um, we know where we like to go, and that's just the places that we go, and other places. I don't. Well, we we were even on the Serenity Block once. Was Serenity, twice? maybe maybe a few uh -huh. times, right? Um, yeah, I don't remember. I mean, we we did. We spent a lot of time, and I think our favorite thing too is also we love meeting people. Mm, great, point. and you know, we we met several friends on this cruise, and we legitimately have become friends with them, mm -hmm. and uh, even some some of the crew. And we we met this one guy. I don't know what to say his name, but Imaje. Uh, Imaje. <laughs> And we met him at like 6.30 in the morning. We got up really early, went outside and, and we were drinking our coffee. And we started talking to him and um, really enjoyable conversation to the point where we told him we would, you know, be seeing him again. And a couple of days we missed and didn't get to see him. And then when we finally did, he was like, I've missed you. You didn't come see me. So that's really neat to me it is, is just, connecting with people you know we've connected with so many people playing cornhole and then like he said you know the story when we were on the the, the tour bus meeting people um, these are connections that you you meet you meet people and you know you become lifelong friends with people mm -hmm. and so I don't know if I want to say that I have a favorite deck I don't I don't know if I do or not um, I just like what? I forgot the one other reason why the eighth floor is my favorite deck. Oh, it I, has I, the, let me answer. <laughs> let me answer. Go ahead. Swirls. It has a, it has the ice cream <laughs> swirls uh, right there in the Heroes Lounge as well. Uh, and that's also where yeah. Shax is. But see, that's not my favorite place because mm, Shax is, is on the Shax is on the sixteenth. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Okay, but I'm talking about the swirls back there. Swirls, uh, I think what she was yeah. meaning is uh, there is a swirls also right. on, on the same deck where Shax is. Yeah, That's what I she was about meaning. That, but yes. It is just super hot. Oh. So, fair warning. If you In want fact, to go eat at Shax, be ready for the heat. There is like no air that circulates back there. In fact, I'd like to ask you, if you've been on one of the XL class ships and you've been to Shaq's uh, Big Chicken, chime in below in the comment section. Did you think that it was extra hot there? Now, of course, this is going to depend on what time of year, maybe. True, I guess. But if you've been on there in the summer months, did you feel like it was extra hot in that location? Do you feel like they should put some fans in there? Go ahead and let let us know how you felt. Yeah. But for us, it was much too hot to it be eating miserable. outside it was, yeah, it where miserable. where Shacks was located. Yeah. I really feel like they need to come up with some kind of uh, cooling system yeah. uh, at least to get some air movement because it was really blistering hot. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, oh, one one uh, thing about Imaje, uh, that was kind of tough to talk about because we did promise him, like mm -hmm. she said, uh, that we were going to meet him and. Then the one morning we did see him again. He says, what's up? I, you guys were supposed to come back and see me. That made me feel so bad. But we're super excited. Because <laughs> he is going to be on the Jubilee and when we go on there in January. So we're really excited about that. And we're going to take him a t-shirt from Kentucky. 
Yeah, because that's what he asked. We said, what What can we bring you? Let's tell us what we can bring you. He's like, a t-shirt from Kentucky. Like, you've got to do. So yep. that's really neat. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, guys, listen, uh, we're going to wrap this up. But we want to thank you. If you're still with us, we want to thank you for watching um, our inaugural About Us uh, video and just a little bit of talk. Uh, so, again, we're not trying to replicate the cruise news, but we do want to share our experiences. And we also want to offer you, if, um, if you have questions about cruising, if you're a new cruiser, if you've never cruised before, or you still consider yourself a novice or a new cruiser, and you want someone that you feel like you can trust or get to know and to trust, then feel free to contact us. Reach out, message us to get started. We will, we will contact you back, and uh, we will help you get your cruise booked. Uh, and I, as a cruise agent, can get any deal that you see <clears throat> excuse me, advertised on the Carnival websites or Facebook pages or wherever you see the Carnival advertisements i can get any of those prices just like if you did it yourself uh and it does not cost one dime extra to book through us we do not charge you a service fee to book through us but we want to be your cruise agency we've got clients that are in alaska right now to, well tomorrow. they're actually leaving san they're francisco in san francisco tonight. today and they'll be leaving for alaska tomorrow uh, so, and that's our next cruise. And that's we'll, our next we'll cruise going, in September. Uh, yes, the, on his birthday, so he'll get to celebrate his fifty-fifth <laughs> birthday. No, wait a minute. No, I'm fifty-five now. <laughs> I will turn fifty-six on embarkation day, yeah. leaving Seattle on September fifth, headed to Alaska. Yeah. But we want to be your cruise agency. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and we would like to uh, invite you. To like the uh, like the video and subscribe to our channel we're uber small right now yeah. follow us on Facebook follow us on Facebook Instagram I'm not mm -hmm. as active on Instagram I'm gonna have to turn that over to G because uh, social media I do well to keep up with one social media and that being Facebook uh, so we're trying to grow and if you are a believer and you want to follow uh, uh, cruise vloggers that are also believers and everything that we do is going to be family friendly. We are not going to shock you. We're not going to be putting content out there that's going to be embarrassing to you or your children or your families. Uh, we'd like to invite you to like and follow, subscribe. And uh, we would love to also see you on a future cruise. But thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.